facial recognition technology is coming to the NFL. This season, the NFL is planning to use facial recognition technology to identify people who are in the stands if they have access to various different restricted areas or if somebody who's completely banned from NFL functions is in the stadium. Now, while they're a private company, and I understand that they have the right to do so, especially if their customers give their consent by buying a ticket or what so have you, my concern is what happens to that data and who can access it, including can the federal government now use it to spy even further on you? This is going to end up being a really interesting question for Congress eventually or inevitably to decide whether or not the federal government can access all of the data that the private companies have. This has been going on for a long time, especially when it comes to like financial stuff. It's been known that federal agencies have not necessarily tapped into American citizens' data, but instead bought that data, using taxpayer money, obviously, because that's the only money they have, from private companies who collect all that data. For example, like if you swipe your credit card and that data goes to Visa or Amex or whatever credit card company you use, the federal government can't track you based on that swipe, but they can purchase the data of that swipe from the private companies, and the private companies are more than happy to sell the data, especially, especially if there's a pretty penny attached to it, considering that the federal agencies generally don't have any discretion when it comes to how much should we spend on this? Well, whatever the most we can spend possible. But aside from all that, this is going to get even more elevated in public consciousness when it comes to facial recognition. Like I said, the NFL is planning to use facial recognition, and like I said, they're a private company. They are contracting with a company called Wicket. Now, Wicket, well, let, let's, let me just read this article. This is from Reason Magazine. This is Patrick Eddington saying, uh, the CEO of Wicket said this, that they... Are, they currently have no U.S. federal government agencies or departments utilizing Wicket in an operational role. He acknowledged that Wicket uh, has not made their source code available available to third parties. So they're saying, well, we, we don't have any affiliation with U.S. governments and we don't have third parties that are able to see what it is that we're actually doing. Despite the CEO's assurance, video surveillance of fans, even if done by a private company, could cause concern. Once Wicket collects the data, where does it go? Who can access this? And uh, the article goes on to say this represents a direct threat to the Fourth and Fifth Amendment. But here's what I think is similar to what the feds have been doing with financial data. Police have another way of getting digital data, whether biometric or otherwise. They can buy them. With no federal legislation currently banning this practice of law enforcement purchasing data, law enforcement agencies are always seeking out new sources of personal data on Americans they can buy and store for future use. Regarding whether or not NFL shares data uh, from information technology systems other than Wicket with law enforcement entities, uh, Schlittner, who is the spokesperson, I think, for the NFL on this, cited the NFL's existing privacy policy for its shop. And this is where things get even more concerning. According to this piece in Reason Magazine, that policy, the NFL's po privacy policy, currently allows for the sharing of user login and password information, precise geolocation data, and racial or ethnic information with law enforcement as required by law or other legal processes as well as to anticipate, prevent, detect, and investigate suspected fraud, harassment, or other violations of any law, rule, or regulation for legal security and safety purposes. That is what the NFL privacy policy says. In other words, they're allowing law enforcement to access these particular key data points. Now, I understand how some people might think, well, if it's used to prevent, you know, terrible things from happening, well, at least the terrible thing didn't happen. And I'm not pro-terrible thing happening by any stretch of the imagination. My concern is, I'm sure the same as your concern, is, well, where does it go from there? And also, if all of that information is private, who's to say <laughs> somebody who doesn't trust the government at all, like me, can't fake up some private information? That obviously is the most extreme example, but who's to say that isn't where we ultimately end up if this type of data is going, you know, 
back and forth between government agencies and private companies. I think the big thing that concerns me, again, not a lawyer, is violation of any law, rule, or regulation. Who sets regulations? Well, the federal agencies do. I think that's one of the bigger problems with us small government type people is that a lot of the regulations that exist that you have to follow are not set by Congress or by people you voted for. They're set by administrative bodies that the federal government sets up on their own. In other words, if the president decides that the executive branch, well, this agency needs this sort of power, they just make up the rules. We don't get to vote on it. We don't have any say in how those rules are set. And which is, it's, it's a whole different conversation outside of this, whether or not the federal government can buy information from private companies, but it is all part of the same thing. If federal agencies can set regulations and then buy data to see if you're breaking the regulations that they set outside of whether or not you voted for it or not, I can see some pretty substantial problems stemming from that. Uh, the last thing I want to read from this is this. The NFL will also sell that very same kind of data to law enforcement according to the policy for for now, biometric data collected by the NFL, specifically a scan of your facial, facial geometry used to verify your identity, are not up for grabs to the highest bidder, which I guess is a good thing for right now. Um, the concern, of course, is that given the incentives to monetize such data, NFL customers and fans would be well advised to periodically check the NFL privacy policy change privacy policy page for any changes. Yeah, uh, for now, it says we won't sell any of your biometric data, your facial geometric, geometric scan, but who knows when that changes, and a lot of times, stuff changes in the middle of the night. Here's, you know, if I were to argue against myself here from a technological standpoint, maybe that's a good use of AI to consistently track and monitor, monitor privacy policy pages on all of these big company websites to see if they change at any point in time. But for now, this is going to be a really interesting thing, I think, that's going to unfold, you know, over the course of the next couple of years as this stuff becomes more prevalent and especially as private companies continue to collect it all. Can the federal government purchase that data? I, I would say no, but currently there's no law against it, which I think not I think, I know, has to be something that comes from Congress, which is why elections are important. Do you want the feds spying on you? If the answer is no, make sure you vote for Congress people who are willing to put parameters on what the federal government can do, which generally means voting for a specific party, but I think you all know that.